There are currently 10 exotic hand cannons in Destiny 2. Most of these are kinetics with only Sunshine and Ariana's being energy weapons. I didn't want to just do a comparison of them because they're not really all comparable. Ariana's vow is very different from the others, so we're using normal metrics of TTK, or we'd have to use some other metrics. So for this comparison, I wanted to choose four similar hand cannons and find out which of them would be the best for Crucible. I decided to go with Thorn, Lumina, Ace of Spades, and Hawkmoon. These are all 140 RPM hand cannons that are pretty popular amongst players. I was thinking about including Rose and Sunshot in this, but Rose isn't even an exotic, even though it is the base of Thorn and Lumina. And Sunshot is a 150 and an energy weapon. I wanted this to be as fair as possible, so I didn't want to use an energy weapon so my specials could be the same. First, I want to do a summary of each of the guns and what I like and dislike about each one before I compare them. The first gun I'm going to focus on is Ace of Spades. This is the most popular exotic hand cannon and the second most popular hand cannon. It has 85 range, 50 stability, and 100 recoil direction. This means that the recoil goes completely vertical on top of having a really far range. It has Firefly and Memento Mori on it for its exotic parts. Firefly just functions like the normal Firefly, but Memento Mori gives you 6 rounds of kill clip that does not expire on time. This can really help in a fight and makes it a lot more forgiving. But you have more effective range. On top of this, you aren't frantically trying to find a fight and playing recklessly just so you can use your kill clip. It also gets a radar while ADSing, giving you more information on if you're being pushed or if your opponent is rotating. There's really only one thing that I think is a drawback to this gun, and it is the fact that you're unable to switch your gun when you have a mental mori, or it will remove the buff. I sometimes find myself trying to use Ace up close instead of my shotgun as I'm just trying to preserve my memento mori buff. The next gun that I want to talk about is Thorn. Thorn is a popular pick as well. It has 49 range, 55 stability, and 100 recoil direction. Thorn also has the advantage of straight vertical recoil, but the range is on the lower side. One side that really stands out is the 85 handling though. This makes it really nice when you have to switch quickly. The exotic perks are Mark of the Devourer, giving your target corruption damage when you hit them. This only does one damage per tick, but does halt your opponent's regeneration, allowing you to push them without being back up to half health again. Another thing I like to do with it is track people through walls with the poison things. When you hit one shot, you're able to track them for a little, letting you see if they're running or not. The other perk is Soul Devourer, dropping a small floating orb whenever you get a kill. Whenever you pick this up, it will partially reload your magazine and give you a small damage bonus. The damage bonus affects your corruption damage the most as it goes from 1 damage per tick to 7. This can be really annoying for your enemies. This gun feels great overall, but there is one drawback that I noticed and it was the range. I noticed that it would drop off really quickly and didn't know if it was the game bucking or not, but it felt really inconsistent at range. Moving over to Thorn's sister, we have Lumina. Lumina is one of the least used exotic hand cannons in Crucible, with only Ariana's Val being below it. It has 63 range, 60 stability, and it also has 100 recoil direction. Being the sister to Thorn, it actually has the opposite perks, with Noble Rounds giving you a remnant on kills that turn your next hipfire shot into a seeking healing shot, and Blessing of the Sky, giving you a damage buff whenever you heal a teammate with your Noble Round. The damage buff takes your gun to around 83 damage per headshot. This makes it very forgiving, as you can two head one body with this, just like Ace. The only downside is that this one is actually on a 10 second timer. This gun feels very consistent, and the ability to buff you and your teammates at the same time is very good in competitive game modes, where you are relying on your team a lot more than in quick play. It also has pretty good range, and more effective range when you have Blessing on the Sky active. This gun feels consistent because of the stability. As if you didn't know, the hand cannon's bloom actually depends on the stability resetting quicker whenever you have a higher stability. The last hand cannon is Hawkmoon. It has a random roll, so there's not a set amount of stats. But the one that I'm using has Fluted Barrel, Alloy Mag, Opening Shot, and Combat Grip. The exotic perk is Paracausal Shot, giving you a stack of Paracausal Shot for every headshot and kill you get, using them all up on the last shot of the magazine, giving you bonus damage depending on how many stacks you have. The main stat that stands out on Hawkmoon is the Aim Assist at 93, so you can pretty easily get to a 100 Aim Assist if you just use some hand cannon targeting mods. With the Catalyst, Paracausal Shot also gives you a bonus to handling, reload speed, and rage. 
So now that we have a basic understanding of the guns, let's compare them. The categories I will be comparing them in is their effective range. So their range and their consistency at range. Lethality of their exotic perks, how practical their exotic perk is to proc, and how easy the perk is to use. Starting with their effective range, Ace of Spades is going to take this one. It feels really good at range and also has 85 range base. Memento also gives it more damage. Letting the damage fall off it does incur have less of an effect on it. Second is Lumina. It also has good range at 63 and good stability, allowing for it to feel nice at range. It also has a damage perk like Ace, allowing you to have more effective range. Next is Hawkmoon. Hawkmoon's range can vary depending on the perks, but mine rule felt good at range, but not as good as Lumina. Pericausual Shot can also make it feel better with the Catalyst as mentioned earlier, but I don't really want to include that in this part because it's more of a direct buff from the perk. Even though I am including it in the other ones, uh, I just it doesn't feel right to me to include this for some reason. But then finally, we have Thorn. Thorn just doesn't feel good at range in general. It has the lowest range out of all of these, and even though it has 55 stability, it felt as though my shots would just vanish when I was trying to hit people. Moving on to the lethality of their perks, Hawkmoon is going to win this one. It's able to one-shot if you can hit enough headshots and get enough kills beforehand. Next is Ace. You can guarantee two easy kills with your six shots. Then Lumina for similar reasons, but the reason why it's not as good as Ace is you're on a timer, so you might die while trying to push, and you also might get less kills from it. And finally, Thorn again. The damage bonus for Thorn is just not enough to make it that much more lethal. The damage only gets up to 74, and the poison at 7 damage per tick is nice, but it's not as strong as Hawkmoon or Ace's damage bonus. For practicality, Ace wins this one as well. If we're talking about Quick Play, it is easy to proc solo with nothing else needed, and extra damage is just nice to have in every single situation. The radar is also very nice. If we're talking about competitive though, Lumina is actually going to take this, as getting a damage bonus while healing a teammate is just really good whenever you're all together. Thorn and Hawkmoon are tying for this round as the poison on Thorn is great for tracking people and the small damage bonus while reloading the magazine is very nice in quick play and in comp. Hawkmoon's increased range for headshot is also very nice and the one shot kill can come in clutch sometimes. Just not really in competitive. For ease of use, Thorn wins as you only have to hit them for the poison. Every other gun here needs a headshot or a kill but Thorn's main perk is just on hits. It does have a kill required perk, but none of the others have a body shot perk like Thorn. Next, I would say Hawkmoon. As you don't need a kill because you can just team shot with your teammates and hit a few headshots, giving you your paracausal shots. Third is Ace, as you need a kill for the perk, but that's it. Nothing else is needed. And finally, we have Lumina, as you have to get a kill and shoot it at a teammate to get your bonus damage making it the hardest to proc because you need a teammate nearby you. Overall, I would say Ace is the best for quick play or solo play, and Lumina is the best cop weapon. Hawkmoon is a fun one-shot gun if you want to use it sometimes, you know, make people a little mad, but Thorn just needs a little more range.